Hey guys, Exodus Ice here today. I've got a tutorial for you for you to find out about uh, how to get the ASP web admin tool on Visual Studio. I haven't been able to do it, but I found a new solution which I don't know, it depends on you. It's easier, but then slightly harder too. We have to go and get Visual Studio 2012. So let me just show you at the moment which one I've got. So if you open this up, and I open my current website and I want to change the roles, add administrator roles, anything like that it doesn't actually have it here so what I, after spending a long time on this, what I did was down, I downloaded uh, the previous version of Visual Studio which was Visual Studio 2012 so I ran that and I opened let me open my website Run towards here yes and what you'll see is if you just, let me just click on my page right here I'm in the process of building uh, a tools rental for a, co uh, for a company let me just show you that for a second before I just get into that. Yeah, it's just basic at the moment, just a list of tools with categories. I'll need to do the add buttons and all that. And you'll, you'll see here I've got my login set up my account page and this should just give you a few details about that but I haven't set that up yet properly yet so what I'm going to show you now is how to get the ASP uh, admin tool configuration tool so it's, it's just right there to be honest with you if you use uh, Windows uh, what Visual Studio 2012 it should be right there and if you click on it it should take you to the to the admin page so what they did with Visual Studio 2013 is that they added identity instead of using this which kind of sucks really because this was one of the easiest tools to use to set up users and here's some of my roles which I set up yesterday and my users where are they? yeah these are some of my users, let me just delete that user, I don't really need that I'm just testing it out earlier so yeah so what I suggest guys instead of doing all these uh, things where you have to go on SQL with a command and all that I su just suggest that you download 2012 and it should just work perfectly and if it, I didn't have any problems converting it from 2013 2012 I just opened it and it just worked fine and so yeah guys that's it please hit the like button and just subscribe or you can check out my other channel my gaming channel link is in the description cheers guys